Welcome to Cloud City Conversations, a podcast all about our love for Star Wars. And all forms of Star Wars fans are welcome. Oh. Ooh. Today, we're doing our second episode, or maybe third. I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe fourth? Fifth? Fifth. Sixth. We'll find out. <laughs> I'm done editing the last one. But today, we're doing a Star Wars character tier list. The first of many, hopefully. Um, And let me pull this up. Oh, Lord. There we go. There, there are the characters. An interesting rule that we've given ourselves already early on is we are limiting the S tier to four characters. Uh, five, 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 five. Five. I, five. I fought for the five. <laughs> you fought for it. I wanted to make things interesting, but I think what we're going to do, at least in this aspect, um, is we have allowed ourselves, we're going to go back and forth, and we can't uh, negate anybody's picks, but we can definitely debate it and talk over and, mm-hmm. and curse and anger. Um, no, but no. you can't change someone's pick, so it's stuck there, and that's that. Mm-hmm. Once once we decide, it's gonna be there. So to kick this off, we have to start with the guy, Anakin slash Darth Vader. I I swear to God, <laughs> if you do got, some silly ass, it's it's gonna be here, isn't it? It's got yeah. to start off. It it has to be here. Yeah. And then again, Obi Wan. It ha- I don't know. Du- no, you got your first pick. Okay. I, I go right. next. Oh, okay. That's how we're doing. Okay. Yeah. Obi Wan. Oh, go you ahead. best believe. Uh, basically, word? Um, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'll be good too. Um, I thought we were going in order. Are we picking around? Oh yeah, we'll pick around okay. as, as we please. Right. In terms of, what do I think of S tier? Ah, uh, fine. I'll be easy. We gotta go, Obi Wan. Obi Wan S tier. Yep. Alrighty. Oh, who's going to be my pick? I'm just going to close my eyes and pick one. All right. Ula. Who the hell? It's it's the Twi'lek slave from oh. Return of the Jedi. I mean, like, I don't... She served she, her purpose. I can't she, say she was a bad character. I'm going to put Thor in D. Uh, who do I got next? Um, Qui-Gon's not S tier by any means. He's up there, though. He's certainly up there. You would think. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, Is Luke Skywalker two different... Slots, or is he the same one? So, I see Luke here. Do you see mm-hmm. Luke again? Yeah, I don't see him again. I know some tier lists have... Oh, look at this, Noah. So, that was Anakin Skywalker. We have Darth Vader as well. Okay, so we'll just preface this. We're not going to mix the two and consider yeah. two separate people. Anakin Skywalker is Darth Vader and Darth Vader is yeah. Anakin. We're going to keep that. We're, so, we're going to ignore Darth Vader. We're going to ignore young Anakin. Yeah. Um, we're going to ignore... If there's two Lukes, we're going to ignore it. Okay, no, I see him. You see where Leia is? Yeah. Okay, here. put young Luke. <laughs> that might be the only one worthwhile. <laughs> where where am I throwing him? Oh, this is tough. This is going to be really tough, but I'm going to say S tier. S tier? Yep. Oh, do it. man. So you have two S tiers. I have one. Mm-hmm. Who do you think left is worthy of that category? But don't you dare. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. All right, I was kidding. I was kidding. Who's an S tier character? Some could argue Palpatine, maybe. Some could argue Palpatine, but I I'm not, not going to argue Palpatine. I would not ever consider Padme. I like I, her for what she was, but she is not S tier. That is a joke. Leia. Is Ahsoka there? Ahsoka's not on this list. Oh, this is just this no. is just the nine nine films. It looks like or eleven films. Okay, because I this is this might be hot, but I I would argue that Ahsoka's potentially S tier. I would agree. Um, where did I throw Leia? <laughs> I lost her. <laughs> you lost her. There she is. But no, I, I'm going to throw Leia in the S tier. Mm-hmm. Interesting. I, I think this is one of the most legendary female characters of all time. Characters, yeah. period, of all time. Not characters, even just period. female. Um, the amount of inspiration that this character has drawn in the entire world is astronomical. Mm-hmm. I think it's an insult not to throw her in S tier. It was an insult to not give Carrie Fisher a Hollywood Walk of Fame until recent. So I, I know. That happened like last week, didn't it? Uh, two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago. Oh, on. my God. Yeah. Well, three weeks from when you're seeing this, Ben. I'm going to... Oh, no, before you disrespect me. I'm going to take Django Fett. <laughs> and I have... So we have... Is that a... S-A-B. Um, I'm going to put Django Fett... To be honest here. Uh, B tier. Ooh. I, I'm impressed. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually honest. really impressed. I'm going to be as honest as I can with this. All right. I got Han Solo. There A-tier. we go. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think there's going to be much debate about that. Now, I'm going to make this very clear, and this is going to be hot. Um, let's put Boba... You you be careful. I want you to be careful. Let's put him in C tier. Oh, you're an asshole. You know what? 
You can't give me a reason canon wise that Boba Fett is better than Django Fett. Not without using comics or books. Even if we're just sticking to the nine films, Django Fett did so much more in his little time. Uh -uh. Kicked more ass, fought as a legit Jedi, had an amazing space battle where Boba just floated around in space rocks and then stood there as Darth Vader did the rest and then fell into a hole. You know what? Give me Chewbacca. Throw him in the air. Ooh. Interesting. Chewbacca okay. Chewbacca's great. He's not that complex of a character, but he's iconic. He's lovable. I've never met any per anyone ever that didn't like Chewbacca. Take Kylo Ren and let's put him B2. I would, I would throw him an A, but I'm okay with B. I think Kylo is the strongest character from the sequels. Oh, easily. Uh, in fact, you know, I, I misspoke. Let's put him A. Behind, I don't know about behind Chewbacca, but we'll, we'll live with it. As, well, it's, they, yeah. it's the order. It's the order in which we're yeah. left. He's stuck. Behind Chewbacca. You know what? Let's take care of Jumal. He's an A tier. He's, he's an A tier. I kind of almost debated putting him here, but he, there's just not enough room. For no, him. yeah, there's not enough room. He's so good in his arc, Clone Wars wise. He's. I'm not talking Rebels because that's whatever. But and even Rebels. I know you haven't seen Rebels, but Maul is still so good in Rebels. Or yeah. Rebels. He's um, definitely up there. I mean, what's his most iconic? What is Maul's most iconic line? <laughs> Kenobi. It's just him yelling Kenobi, and that's from Rebels, by the way. I didn't think so. I thought it was... <laughs> and then he falls in half. Okay, who do I... Who's my next victim? Let's go General Grievous, uh, and let's put him D tier. Ah, uh, no. C. We'll put him C. You know, as cool as he is, character development-wise, and growth, and just interestingness, you're kind of right. That's just my problem, is he has no character development. All he's ever been, like, there's no personality, and I get the... No straight cyborg quote unquote but there's no like legit backstory as of right now there used to be mm -hmm. um but as of right now with what we know canon wise there's no legit backstory on him all he was is a cyborg that was just angry and wanted to kill a bunch of jedi he's, like, he's pure evil he's pure evil mustache twirling villain you know like there's nothing special to him other yeah. than he's cool he has lightsabers and he's a cyborg but he's still he's still cool i still like cool. general grievous let's do quagon oh my Me too. Okay, I, was, I was about to say Interesting. Qui-Gon is a great character. I thought about putting him in A, but I I feel like we have too many there right now. He just didn't get enough to be put in A tier. No, yeah, he didn't. Course. He didn't do enough. I'm hoping for maybe an animated series. It's so weird because he had such a huge role in such little time. I would love to see an animated series of young Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon as Padawan, like as Master and Apprentice. I want to see more with Dooku and Qui-Gon. I think that would actually be really cool. No, yeah, 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 that would be a cool series as well. I think making an animated series about Tales of the Jedi is one of the biggest opportunities Star Wars has to expand upon interesting Jedi character like, like Plo Koon or Aayla Sakura or Kit Fisto or K Dooku. There's so many books and comics that would adapt really well to an animated show format or anthology series to do like dark disciple master and apprentice which is fault which follows obi-wan and qui-gon you could write the series of obi-wan and Satine and qui-gon going on the run there's so many stories left to be told or to show to the majority of the fan base because let's be honest most star wars fans aren't reading the books only a select few of us are enjoying these amazing stories i'm always down to flesh out books and comics into a show or movie format, whether they're animated or live action. I would love to see anything on screen. Let's start filling out the bottom here. <laughs> Let's put, and this is the only duplicate character that I will do. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do this yet. I'm not gonna do this. Let's put Finn at B tier. Finn in D tier. And I flat out have to say that because he's the largest missed opportunity in Star Wars history. Um, he was promoted to be something so special in that first run, with the first movie and then completely dropped off the face of the earth to become absolutely nothing other than side, almost comic relief. I almost want to be clear. Like, I, I agree with you partly. I almost would like to see him in C tier. I, I really enjoy John Boyega and Finn. I love him. Putting Finn in D tier is not a shot at John Boyega. It no. is a shot at the writing of the character. John Boyega not killed it. Writing. I love John Boyega. Palpatine sat on the sidelines too long. A tier. Too long. Yeah, I was I was about to pick him up next. This is the only duplicate character, like I said, that I will go, but I'm going to say it, and I have to do it, because it's got to go on the list. I know what you're um, going to do. Oh, you know damn well what I'm going to do. I know what you're uh, going to do, and I'm going to do it. Might as well move him. You might as well already move him for me. Yep, yep, there we go. <laughs> I knew it. I fucking knew it. Yep. Oh, fuck you, man. I would argue this version of Luke should go no. in C tier. You have issues, and that's okay. I think Finn is better than that version of Luke. I think Boba Fett is, well, okay, who the heck is in D? Yeah, I would argue that whatever her face is is better than that version of Boba. <laughs> Padme sat on the sideline way too long as well. B tier. That's reasonable. Padme was great in the Clone Wars. 
She was great in The Phantom Menace. She was great in one half of Attack of the Clones. She didn't do anything in Revenge of the Sith. And I think Revenge of the Sith is what takes her in B tier. Um, if she didn't die of sadness, she'd be in A tier. Yeah. If she did more and was more interesting in Revenge of the Sith, other than, oh, Annie. Oh, Annie. They cut so much of her character out of mm -hmm. Revenge of the Sith, and they had a few scenes of her setting up the beginnings of the Rebellion. And if they would that would have been incredible. I've seen those. Yeah, it was very cool to see. Very, very cool. Um, ooh, this is tough. Is that IG-88? Here? Yeah. Do my eyes deceive me? Let's take Grand Moff Tarkin, and let's put him A tier. You know what? I'm not going to fight that one. Clone I'm not going to fight that one. really brought his character to be something more special. And Bad Batch? Yeah. And I would add the comics, and his... Because... Tarkin also has his own novel. Yeah. Tarkin is a very interesting character. I'll see, like, different videos or TikToks of people saying, oh, Tarkin gets his ass kicked by everyone. And I'm like, really? Because yeah. Tarkin, Tarkin outsmarted Vader and could have killed Vader at one point in the comics. I don't know if you're going to like that. If you like that, Noah. I don't mind it because it's comics and it's not real, so it's okay. <laughs> You know what? All right, let's do let's do Count Dooku. He's an A tier character. Absolutely, he is. He's an A tier. It's Christopher Lee, man. It is Christopher Goddamn Lee. If if he was introduced in Phantom Menace, I'd say he'd be S tier easily. You're right. My only reason for not throwing Dooku in S tier, or for him being S tier for me, is not the enough. Clone Wars. The Clone Wars. The Clone Wars did not do just do Dooku justice. I don't think Dooku should have been an evil character. I think. He should have been more gray character-wise. That's fair. Reading this, uh, this goes again with me reading backstories and novels and stuff that are from the canon books. Dooku is just such an interesting character in a multitude of ways. He saw the corruption in the Republic, and he was correct about the corruption in the Republic. And yeah. then he went about it in the wrong way by joining Sidious. But ultimately, he is just a pawn for Sidious. Dooku's story is more tragic than anything. Very. What bothers me is what George Lucas decided to do with him in the Clone Wars, basically making him a genocidal maniac. That just doesn't sit right with me character-wise. I don't think it makes sense for him. Yeah, it is Daddy George, though. Yeah, let's take... No, let's not take Tarpal. He doesn't deserve to be spoken this early. Um... <laughs> Let's let's do what we must. No. F. Yeah. Uh, I would throw him in D. I have respect for the actor that played Jar Jar, and I have respect for technology what they pulled off at the time, mm -hmm. technologically. Um, but at the end of the day, um, he was intended for comic relief, and I didn't find him that funny even as a kid. He added nothing to the story, and sometimes you don't always need something that impacts the story. But I, I just there was genuinely no like his Clone War episode was just as annoying, if not more. Um, I, I have not enjoyed. Jordan. You didn't like the episode where you got a girlfriend? No, no, I, I, I didn't know <laughs> that existed, and I've watched the Clone Wars. I think I just blocked it out of my head. But I you're gonna a... you're gonna hate me for what I'm about to do. Oh boy. What the hell? <laughs> Is that... I, okay, I'm just making he's, sure. He's, he's, it's Mace Windu. He's C tier. I don't think he's that interesting. He's just a badass. He's not... That's it. That's, it. that's all. Just, you know, the only man with a purple lightsaber at the time. You know, just whatever. He's got a purple lightsaber because he's a badass. Character-wise, he's arrogant. He's dogmatic. He's one of the reasons the Jedi fell. His do him and Yoda's dogmatic asses are the reason the Jedi fell. Yeah. Um, let's put the characters that we're not going to use, like Vader in the question mark tier. Up next, let's put Lando. Let's put him B tier. I agree. Lando's an awesome character. He is. Lando's amazing. You know, who do I, who do yeah. I want to make sure? Wedge and Tilly's B, B tier. Oh, Lord. I love Wedge and Tilly's. I don't give a oh. fuck what anyone says. He's Over great. Over Miss Windu? Yeah. Oh, my God. He's great in the books. Good lord, nobody reads. I read. Uh, he's, great in the, he's great in the books. Wedge is an iconic, he's Luke's best oh, friend. Oh, Admiral Holdo, or whatever the hell her name is. Jurassic oh. Park. Uh, you know damn well where she's going. Oh, yeah, she's going F. Yep, yeah. I would agree with F tier. Yeah. I wasn't really a fan of her character. I thought she was, eh. Yeah. Love Laura Dern, but... <laughs> Dexter Jetster. You watch yourself at this one. <laughs> He's a V-tier character. He's oh, iconic. Oh, what the hell is wrong with you? He's great. Why are you doing this? Over Mace Windu. Seek help. <laughs> Seek help. How oh. big your man is. How you big your you, this has bucket to be book is. Right. You have to be kidding. Over Dexter General Jets. Grievous. Dude, he's great. I don't know what oh, you mean. Boy. He's okay. iconic. He's a, he's right. a meme machine. All right, while we're at it. um, The main villain for Rogue One. He was the officer. Krennic. Krennic, yeah, Director Krennic. Let's get him B tier. And I'm disgusted that he's behind Dexter Jetster. 
But the actor put on a phenomenal performance in the time that he was in. I'm kidding. I'll throw him in C. Ugh. Okay, then. There's no way you're gonna give me a throw him in D. No, I, he didn't do anything I, wrong. I still, uh, man, we got Finn below Dexter. Oh no, <laughs> you put him in D. I'm well. I didn't realize. See, this is the fun of the game. I didn't realize you <laughs> set me up for failure here. But let's do R two, A tier. Yeah, I can agree with that. Uh, you can't throw him in S. No. Y you know we have one more S spot. We do. And I've, I've been holding off. Well, I know who we're putting in F next. Um, Phasma, Captain Phasma. I would throw her in D. An absolute waste of space. Let's do Yoda. Yoda's been off this list way too long. He's yeah. a B-tier character. He's I have a, a soft spot in front of my heart for him. I would have put him A, but I had that. that's reasonable. It's one of the reasons the Jedi fell. I want to see more depth from him emotionally. Mm -hmm. I thought the Clone Wars episode where he had like the, it was one of the final ones of the regular like six season. Um, I think it was either five season and he had to go and he was like, there was actual fear in his eyes for the first time when he had that whole like dream thing around. I don't know, something like mm -hmm. that. That was like really cool and really special because I'm like, oh, we're finally getting some emotion and some depth from him, which was special. It was cool. Let's put Shmi Skywalker at C. Okay. Not bad, not good. She's... She served her purpose. Um, yeah. actor did a, actress did a phenomenal job. What does your heart tell you? I had a crush on her as a kid for some odd reason. What is wrong with you? I don't know. She, she was very gorgeous to me. <laughs> So Plo Koon on the list. I swear. He's the only one out of the random. Don't know. Ain't, ain't no way. Yeah. I swear to God, if you even think he's on the level. Of, if he's above Django, you've lost it. He's a B tier. He's great in the Clone Wars. Plo Koon is great in the Clone Wars. Yeah, that's about it. They did, um, he has no other like screen time. No, he doesn't. Yeah, Clone Wars gave him B tier, otherwise he would be C or D. Yeah, he'd, he'd be like right here if he didn't have the Clone Wars. Rest of the Jedi, uh, I hate to say it, Plo Koon. Um, I'm going to have to put him C tier, maybe D. Who? Plo Koon. That is Plo Koon. Oh, shit. Uh, what the hell? Kit Fisto, Kit Fisto. C tier? Yeah. I agree. Didn't He's do much. cool. He's cool <laughs> in the uh, Clone Wars. Died cool. like an idiot in Revenge of the Sith. Yeah, that's true. He gets points knocked down for that. Bail Organa. Oh, yeah. Come Thank on. Yep. I, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. He was great in the Clone Wars. He's great in Revenge of the Sith. And then I thought Thanks Jimmy Smith's performance in Obi-Wan was amazing. Great. He was great. I loved his little moment with uh, Leia yeah. in the beginning. Yeah. I loved it. He's great. I, absolutely. Love, I love the character. I love everything he does. I think in Visions, even say, or not Visions, um, Tales of the Jedi. I love seeing him in Ahsoka, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's the founder of the rebellion. Kind of. Him and Mon Mothma. Padme. Yeah. In a sense, yeah, no, I know what you mean. Um, then let's let's go at it. Let's put Shock T D tier. Shock T D tier. Yeah. She's died in canon about fifteen different ways. <laughs> the only thing I can think for Shock T to give her any sort of redeeming, like likable factor was her role in the development of clones the the clone cadet arc. Yeah. Where she gave Echo Five's heavy cut up and droid bait another chance at the uh run let me get my uh my book characters in a secure spot snap wexley oh, B -tier. Who the is that? snap wexley he's one of the main characters of the aftermath trilogy oh lord he's okay. a b-tier character i bet i was i was severely devastated when he died in the rise of skywalker severely de <laughs> uh let's do this is gonna be a little more contention, but this character is essentially worthless outside of a few nerds of Boba Fett fan club. Uh, IG-88, let's get him D tier. Yeah, I'm not going to fight him. He looks cool, and that's all. He IG-88 inspired much cooler versions of himself. Simple as that. Sue Commander Cody. After Bad Batch, I'd put him a little higher than I initially would have. He's a but I wouldn't character. Give him, yeah. He's cool. I, my, before the Bad Batch, absolutely C tier. Mm -hmm. Maybe even D, just because he literally all we know him for is, uh, I think you're, we're looking for this. And then execute order 66, that's it. He has the potential to be A tier, depending on where his character goes after order 66. In Bad Batch, yeah. Mm -hmm. He was I'm the first that he... one really saw. Outside of the Bad Batch, he was the maiden clone that was like, yeah, I'm out. Let's get... I like Dread and Boss, but I'm not going to put him. Um, Kiati Mundu, absolute D tier. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees, man? Yeah, that's, a, that's, that's about all he's got. Very cool design. I like this character. I like his face and his adorable little cone head. But the little that we've seen of him, he's been kind of a meh. I'm gonna protect her before you can get to her. Ray C tier. Okay, yeah, I'm 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 comfortable with that. I like Ray. I didn't know she was still here. I pro oh 
damn it. Um, let's put you put her seats here. Mm. Oh my god, I kind of just want to put Wicket just above her, just to <laughs> really set things going. Um, <laughs> you'd be setting Wicket above Mace Windu, though. I'm content with that. Sacrifices must be made. <laughs> is that is that really what you're gonna do now? <laughs> no. Um. Okay. Let's put Maz Kanata D tier. I would throw her in C. I thought she was interesting in The Force Awakens. Yeah, until then they just abandoned her completely after that. That's another question for another time. Okay, when's the time? We're still waiting, 10 years later. All right, give me Saw Gerrera, B tier. Oh yeah. No, I'm, say, I'm still pissed off for what he did to Tech inadvertently, but... If Luthen were still, still here, oh, I'd here. say if, if Luthen were in this batch of characters, this might be really hot, but I would argue he was borderline S tier. Not yet. That speech was incredible. Yeah, that, that speech alone is borderline. I'm saying he's A, but that speech is what puts him in borderline. I had never felt emotionally moved about the rebellion until I heard that, and I was like, oh, I can relate to that. Mm -hmm. I have depression that will never <laughs> itself. Wait a minute. Um, uh, let's take Ayla Secura and put her D tier as well. Another Jedi who probably has cool background, probably has a cool story. We just didn't hear anything. She didn't do a damn thing outside of getting her back blown out by uh, the clones on Felucia. She and had I mean, that like, one. She had that. Out. She had the nice arc where she kind of lectured Ahsoka, helped yeah. Ahsoka grow on uh, Meridune or something like that with the Lerman. Yeah. Um, Just another she, Jedi who should have gotten more screen time and didn't. Mm -hmm. Tales of Jedi, man. Yeah. Let's do New Gunray. <laughs> F tier. What? I I hate New Gunray, man. I love the gun. I, I love the Trade Federation aliens. I think their design is so cool. Let's take. I forgot her name. I don't know if it's Nala Say, but the Kaminoan. Tonwi. 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 That's correct. Nala Say is another one. Correct. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's the um, one in the Clone Wars. Okay. Let's let's put Tonwi. Um, and as much as I like her, and I, as much as I enjoy her, what she, wait, did she have any other role outside of Attack of the Clones? No. Okay. She no. was. She had a cameo in Bad Batch with no lines. I think. Okay, and that's it's very simple. Um, she's gonna go D tier. Um, as much as I enjoy her character and, as, and I enjoy what she did in the small time that she was there, she gave. I mean, she introduced Camino to us. That's that's huge, and I have a very big soft spot for Camino. She didn't really do a damn thing outside of that. So C three PO has been off this list too long. B tier. Yeah. Yeah, I respect that. He he's great in his own way. Um, I would say just for what he does and what he adds comedically, mm -hmm. he is like the definition of what comic relief should be. He can still yeah. apply to the story. He can still help out. I'd argue he's, he's even A tier, but I, I get I get B tier entirely. I would love to... Who the hell are these? Hold on. I'm going to get real close to the camera here. I look like a dog <laughs> right now. Um, let's take Greedo and put him D tier. He also didn't do a damn thing outside of getting blasted. Do Poe Dameron. I want to throw him in uh, B tier. Yep. I'm good with that. Poe's cool. Poe's really cool. Um, let's get Boss Nass and D tier. <laughs> Be gone with him. Um, let's do let's do K two S O. Oh, I know where he has to go. B. Easily, yeah. He 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 does what C three PO does really well as well. Like he's a yeah. great comic relief droid. He made um, a very big impact in the time that he was mm -hmm. in, and he did it well. And I'm very excited to see him hopefully pop up in Andor. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is Andor still on the board, then? He is on the board. Let's put him seats here. Really? And the only reason I say that is because outside of everything that we've seen, we still have not seen much character development for him. In all honesty, in Rogue One, we didn't see much. And even as we're currently now, he's been kind of the same character this entire time. The only main difference is initially he hasn't been so set on the rebellion um, mm -hmm. in Andor as to where he kind of started to come around to it. But it also could be our, like I, I just like I, I haven't seen enough development on that end to argue anything. Like it, it, I feel like with the season two, he'll definitely be B tier and above. But he he remained very stagnant outside of his adoration for the rebellion which it seemed like he wasn't a fan of the empire from the very beginning anyways so tobias beckett b tier i really uh, enjoyed tobias beckett a lot uh let's get the dude from last jedi the one with the stutter dj you know, all right yeah dj where's he at there he's out let's get I, him in, please f thank you thank you and we'll keep him there he's a great actor just no. not a good character no this is gonna be a take uh oh galen urso b tier yeah i like galen urso a lot I like him as well. Um, let's put Zam Wessel D tier. Okay, I'm okay with that. I like her. Aesthetically, she's cool. She's just there's nothing to her character. Yeah. Captain Panaka, throw him in C tier. Yeah, not bad, not good, and didn't do a whole lot, but he so, he made an impact in the little time that he was. 
There's a cool little nugget in canon about Captain Panaka, right? So Captain Panaka became an Imperial Moth during the reign of the Empire. Really? Yep. And so Leia actually went to go visit him on Naboo. And I can't remember I can't remember the reason why she went to go visit him. But Captain Panaka recognized Padme and her. And then put the he he basically put the pieces together to figure out that she was okay, Leia is publicly known to be adopted around the same time Padme died. You look just like her, you act just like her. Mm-hmm. Holy shit, you're you're the daughter of Padme Amidala. And he literally was on his way to go contact the Empire and Saw Gerrera blew him up and killed him. That's wild. I wish Saw, we <laughs> Saw Gerrera saved the universe by killing Captain Panaka. And that's unfortunate because, I mean, yeah, it is. That's interesting. It was a cool nugget in the Leia Princess of Alderaan nugget. This is what I'm talking about. Like, cool stories like this would make great television. Yes. This is what I want. I will harp on it till the end of time until it happens. Let's get Hux D tier. Yeah, I'm okay with it. He's the spy. No oh, boy. I always laugh at that moment. It's so stupid. I didn't it's like still funny. See it it's coming funny. because I didn't expect them to go that route. Not like I was kind of hoping they wouldn't. And I, when I when it happened, I was like my face. I was physically like. <laughs> I was just laughing because it was so stupid. Take care of Sabe. This is another book pool. Oh Christ. <sighs> I want to put her in B tier, but I know for no, I'm going to put her in C tier. Yeah, thank you. She's great in the books. She's actually a really cool character, and I'm excited to see what they do with her. Actually, no, we do know. She has a whole comic series in the Vader. I know she has a whole line during the Vader comic of her um, being. Yeah, Droid couldn't recognize Padme or her. Mm -hmm. And so she goes on an interesting story with Vader. It's really cool. It's weird. Um, let's put Jabba the Hutt at C tier. I'm okay with that. Iconic character, not interesting, and it's an asshole. But he's iconic. He had a really big impact on the story throughout pretty much mm-hmm. the entire time. And still continues after his death. Yes. To have a major impact. Just being for being a fat slug. I had never understood that. Like, why didn't someone just go up and mark him? Like, all of these people who are under his payroll, it's like, okay, like, can we just collectively agree that this is just a literal slug that can't defend himself? Bosk, C tier. He's, I, he's, he's great. He's iconic. I love Bosk. I named a pet after him. I love Bosk. Uh, let's put Admiral Akbar C tier. I have a soft spot for him, but he didn't do much. I know. I have a soft spot for him, too. Stick here Watto. Watto F tier. What? Yeah. What do you mean? I mean, he is just a, uh, I'm not going to say it. Yeah, yeah, we're not going in that direction. Yeah. It's a ridiculousness. We don't have anybody else here that's left, I don't believe. And we still have one slot. And we don't have to use it, that's fine. Like, you know, is there anyone in A you'd like to make an argument for to join S? Maybe Palpatine. And that's the only one that I think is arguable enough. The only person that did, I mean, you, you consider an impact on the story, someone who acted their ass off and got to be a part of both two, well, technically three trilogies. Um, I would say without Rise of Skywalker and that garbage, I mean, that uh, doesn't really hurt his legacy. Mm-hmm. I would consider Emperor Palpatine and the actor for him, the LeBron of Star Wars, almost in the sense. Um, just because the big impact that he had, the time mm-hmm. that he's been around the trilogy, and the acting performance that he put on, I'd say maybe he's up there because I can't see anybody else. Like Han Solo, he's great. He's not there. Chewbacca, definitely not enough depth. Uh, ben Solo, no way. Darth Maul, cool, but not S, not like God tier. Mm-hmm. Palpatine is the only one that I think has had the impact and has been around long enough to cement himself as a staple of Star Wars and culture. And If we had Clone Wars and Rebels and all these different characters in there, I think we could fill that fifth one easily. I'll like we take, talked about, Ahsoka could make that list potentially. I'll take Jyn Arso and put her at B. Probably C, but I really enjoyed Rogue One, so that's giving me a little mm-hmm. bias. Jyn, Jyn is a great character. Do Billy Lord's character. I can't... Lieutenant Connix? She didn't do a damn thing. I mean, I really like the actress, so... She didn't do anything bad, she didn't do anything good, so I'd put her C or D. That's just me, though. I'm gonna put her C. There's a mo- I think there's a special moment that I saw for the first time um rewatching the rise of skywalker the other day there's a moment where the moment where leia is retreating to her bed she, uh, lieutenant Connix is actually the one that carries her away yeah and i thought that was special i mean it's billy lord's daughter 
Billy Lord's character was a major part of the good saying goodbye to Leia. I, I I like her character. It always I always like seeing her on screen. Um, let's take Forlorn. I think that's the bald dude with the electronics. Right or left? Empire Strikes Back. This guy? Yep. That's Lobot. Lobot, whatever the hell his name is. Forlorn is a bounty hunter. That's correct. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll take um Mr. Clean and put him in D. Yeah. He was cool. We had a very sci-fi ish like thx 1138 type design but he didn't do much there was no development i'm gonna take owen i'm gonna put him in c tier okay before obi-wan i would have put him in d but just seeing how much owen loves and cares for luke in yeah. reality i think that was i think that was really cool this just thing. his spot in kenobi added so much more to his mm-hmm. character Maybe and i i thought about putting him in b i really did not yet someday though maybe um aunt Ru, i would have to put See, that's tough because Owen really shined and she was, I mean, she was there. She did great. Oh, she's such a sweet old lady. I don't, I, I'm imagining her face and I'm putting her in the detail and I can't do it. Um, <laughs> she's such a nice little lady. Uh, let's put, let's put the, ro- oh, oh, this is easy. The robot that had a crush on Lando. Yeah, let's, uh, you know where that's going. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I completely forgot that that was on the board. Ugh. Let's do uh, Captain Tarples. Let's see. Oh, no. Why? Jaja, use the bomba. No. Don't have a boomba. Uh, also, Captain Tarples is also the one that sacrificed him, his life to take out or to take down Grievous for a short amount of time. Oh boy, whatever. Else is on the board. BB-8. Let's get him. I would put him a high C tier, even though that's not how we're doing it. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. he he was cute and he did his R2, but I mean, it's just you know, we know what it is. I wish him and R2 got to share the screen more. Yes, together instead of BB-8 taking the full lead on it. I get it. He's the Disney design droid, but R two is it's R two. You know, he's, I wish R two did take a backseat. Yeah, he's a really great design and he's cute. Although, so I like him, but I am very happy that they decided to put R two in Pose X wing instead of BB eight during the final scene in the Rise of Skywalker or the final I, fight scene. I didn't even notice. Yeah, R two is the one flying with Poe. That's cool. Kira, I'm just gonna talk about Kira in the uh oh sh- in the movie. In the movie, she's C. Yeah. And if you add her comic stuff, she's B. But I'm not throw her in C. Let's get Drayden Voss. Um, put him in C. Uh, yeah. Uh, I can't remember the actor's name off the top of my head. Vision. Yeah, it's, I know it's Vision. I can't... Um, Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany. Paul Bettany's an excellent actor. Yeah, I like him a lot. I'm trying to think if there's any more... You know, I'm just going to keep going from here. Paul the Lesser. I think the Gene Oceans are really cool. I do. He just didn't do enough. He he's just not interesting as a character, but I think he's really cool. I love the, I love their language. It's really cool language. I believe it was inspired yeah. by some African cultures. Is that a Wookie next to Pinocchio? I can't see very well. Uh, this is Tarful and Typho. Let's take Lando's potential daughter, Jana, and put her in D tier. I like the actress and I like what she did. There just is this obvious. It was not weird. enough. Yeah, not enough, and it was weird. I want to take Zori. Put her in F. Yeah, absolutely. Oh Jeez. man, Aunt Ru, I keep looking at her sweet old face. I can't. <laughs> um, we'll get to you later, Auntie. Um, let's. T- who's the woman next to the Wampa? That is uh Tobias Beckett's love interest. I can't remember her name. Val. Okay, she's so unmemorable. We'll put her in F because I'm gonna be honest. I've, I'm trying to remember, and I still have no clue who that is. Um, I want to take Mon Mothma and put her in B. Leader of the Rebellion, first Chancellor of the New Republic. And Andor, uh, oh. and her role in Andor, she absolutely knocked it out of the park, and I think she could actually make her way up to A eventually. One of the best recasts I've ever seen in my life. She, the, mm-hmm. the actress for Mon Mothma, has done phenomenal every chance she's been in. Let's take Bib Fortuna and get him D tier. Let's take Joe Casta new, and throw her in D tier. Yeah, Professor McGonagall ripoff. Let's take Snoke and put him absolute F tier. I would throw him in. D. Where is Snow? An embarrassing waste of time. Phenomenal performance by Andy Circus just wasted. Mm. That's why I would throw him in D. Wasted, but Andy Circus just knocked it out of the park. So I want to take Admiral Radis and throw him in C. Okay. If we had Andy Circus's character in Andor, I would honestly, and this is really sad, I would put him A tier. Yeah, I would I would be okay with that. But he knocks it out of the park in just a short time. Oh, my God. He's phenomenal. Who's that pilot? The rebel Biggs, pilot? Uh, Biggs uh, Dark Lighter. Didn't he die in A New Hope? I'm yeah, kidding. Luke's best friend on Tatooine. I liked him. I have a soft spot for him. We'll put him in C tier. We needed more of him. Um, let's, do, 
Well, let's do Cheer. Cheer is C tier. Oh, yeah. Cheer was an awesome character. I I was debating between B and C and yeah. fell on C. That's fair. Not enough, but really cool with what he did. Mm -hmm. Um, then let's put his best friend also in the same tier. Baze, yeah. I'd even argue maybe no. I'm gonna do what you can't. I'm gonna put Brew in C. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> the pain, sweet old lady. Oh, Rose. She I, she she managed to avoid my wrath this far. Put her in <laughs> here immediately. This is nothing against uh, Kelly Marie Tran. Nope. No. It, again, like the same thing with Finn. Like. Nothing against the actors. They did a great job. The writing was poor. Um, that's, that's a compliment to the word that I would use. I'm going to take Tarful. Mm -hmm. And I would say he's a high D tier. And I would love to see more of his character. Yeah. Um, to raise him up in my rankings. But as of now, he's like it's, I, I've, I've heard more about what he's done rather than see what he's done. Yeah. He just needs better dialogue. <laughs> uh, who's the female rebel pilot, if I'm saying that correctly? Uh, this is... I can't. Is that Rose's sister or is that Tally? I have no clue. Who is that next to? Is that the Rancor? It's the Rancor. Oh, he deserves a seat here. Just the design, the character aspect, the intimidation. Is there anyone that I like and I'd like to save? Okay. Um, can't remember his name, but he's like the lead general officer. Yeah. Yeah, first order. I liked him. I thought he was a great actor. I'm gonna throw I him. Did. I, I thought he did a great job. He was a good uh, villain. Who is that next to the old man? Uh, oh, is that the rebel pilot? Wasn't it that got taken over by? Yeah, um, let's put him here. Yeah, I don't like him. D tier. Yeah. Who is that next to the droid? This guy. Yeah. Boamont Kin. Who a highly, f highly forgettable character from the Rise of Skywalker. Of course. Let's do Wicket C tier. It's reasonable. He's he's a cutie. You love Wicket. No, everyone loves Wicket. He was lovable to the point where he gets a cameo in the Rise of Skywalker for no reason with it with his child. Um, so yeah, Wampa goes C tier as well. Iconic I like his design. I like what he did. He's very iconic. He's very. And if you throw in Wampa Hunt from Battlefront Two, yeah, and he he was a great explanation for Mark Hamill's face. I think they handled that situation very well. So I have. Mm -hmm. If it was just off of the character design and like. Costume design by itself, I'd probably have to put it higher. Give me Chancellor Valorum F tier. I don't that care. Oh, oh, is Saboba still on the board? Saboba is still on the board. Oh, you best believe he's going B tier. You get, you get really I have a soft spot for Saboba. I would throw him in D. Get that. You watch yourself. Right. Saboba's oh, going B. Oh, oh, nah. Um, he choked out Jar Jar. That was phenomenal to watch. His pod racer design. Babu Frick C tier. Yeah. I love the Enzelons, man. I'd put him maybe even higher. I don't know. I can't. He's not more interesting than the these Boba. characters. He's not more interesting <laughs> than Boba Fett. Yeah, no, no yes, yeah, he's Boba. I don't. Know. Yeah, no, that was tough. Maybe he. Yeah, put put, put Saboba at C tier. C tier. Yeah. I like Saboba, but when I look at who I have up there in terms of Boba and everything, I can't do that. Um. Then I will take. Who is the old guy from Phantom Menace that was on? Sio uh, Bibble. He's okay. the governor of Naboo. I really like his performance, and I don't know why he's so stuck out to me as a kid. Um, in the first two movies, I'd have to put him mm. seats here. Uh, high seats here. Really? Yeah. Really? I enjoyed his performance. I don't know why. It's like his old face just stuck out to me as a kid. I'm like, that man knows his business. I don't know why I, I thought that. so forgettable. I don't know. He's just his voice. I like his voice. Uh, Captain Typho. I would throw him high D tier. He, yeah. He's cool. He didn't do enough. Um, he's not interesting enough. I would have him on the same level p as Panaka, but I threw Panaka up higher because he's more interesting in outside of the movies. Sarlacc Pit. I mean, uh, I mean, I wouldn't think of it as a character, more of a creature, but I mean, we'll have to put that. Um, eh, well, there's a few other people I'll put there before. Um, let's put an I Nub D tier just because it is a flat out phallic Pancake character. Face. It it is flat out a phallic character, and I don't know why they think they can get away with that. But I'm gonna throw the Sarlacc in the F tier because it it it, it ruined my boy. Oh Christ! I should have put him in B tier before you got the chance to get your grubby fingers on him. We will put. I mean, let's disagree on this. You said the forgettable character. Let's put him F tier. This one from Rise of Skywalker. Oh, this one. Um. Yeah, we'll put him there. I don't know who he is even after you explained to me. <laughs> Uh, I'll follow you and throw the other forgettable resistance character. Uh, Tally, they made her a Battlefront 2 hero. Yeah, I remember that. Tally Lintra. Um, mm -hmm. We'll put the uh, girl from Solo that was also the terrorist in Falcon Winter Soldier. 
Um, we'll put her. She had a really cool costume design. And I I would like to see more of her. Yeah, I really I, would. I do as well, but as of right now, she's D tier. Okay. Yeah, I would put her as either high D, low C. Rio, Rio's D tier. I really liked his character. He he left us short. Like he he wasn't with us for very long, but I really liked John Favreau's performance with him. Salacious Crumb was an easy C tier. Um, for what he did, he was great. I loved his uh, his laugh and everything. But he just it's, it's he's always iconic. So we got Tion Medin, Ankar Plunk, and Dio left. His his name is Dio. D O yeah. I'm gonna take Dio and put him in D. Cute. He's cute. He's cute, and I think his, his manners are on point. But like I, his droid design isn't my favorite. No, I would put BD one honestly over. I'd, I'd put BD one honestly A tier. BD uh, the droid the BD one would be an A tier for, for sure. Uh, Ankar Plan or Tion Medin? Who do you want to? <laughs> um, I like Ankar. Well, see, both of these characters like they're characters that for their purpose serve very well. I didn't dislike either of them, and they're definitely, for being background characters, very memorable. I don't know why that dude's teeth on the left. Like I will always. Um, I mean, is he, he didn't do it. He didn't do much. I mean, he was just there and said, you know, D? the level. Yeah, C, D, D tier, D tier. Okay. Uncar Plant. I'm not the ref. He's annoying. I I didn't like Uncar Plant. Yeah. I, I wasn't a fan. But yeah. yeah, no, that's our uh, list. No, is there any like last debates you would like to have over the positions of these before we finish this? Well, assuming they're not in order. Um, yeah. It's like, I would throw like Maul at the top of A. And... Ooh, over Chewbacca. Interesting. I'd, I'd put Dooku over Ben and arguably Han. Uh, I would put Palpatine in front of all of them. Uh, yeah. The impact over, like, come on. I'll throw Django at the bottom of B. Yeah, hell no. Um, I'll throw him in the middle. I would throw, like... Uh, I would put Yoda higher. I would throw him behind Qui-Gon. I would throw Lando above... Padme. Krennic. Mm, they, they're about the same. What the? Who? I'm kidding. He's just who is that? Wedge and Dillies, bro. Yeah, who the hell? I would throw Saul up here. I would throw Mon Mothma right here. Over J... <laughs> okay, before before we get heated here, and before we lose our friendship, uh, this is our <laughs> That is that. Um, Ta-da, Boom. We did it before Boom. we we did it rash before we decide to get rash. We'll just leave it at that. Let it, let us know what other things you'd like us to rank, whether it's Star Wars or not, whether it's you'd like to see us do planets, expand the characters, uh, movies in general. Let us know what you'd like to see us uh, put out. I love to like rank like races. Um, I like like the Daytona 500 is up there for me. A um, little off topic, I know. Um, Indianapolis 500 is really special. Um, Formula One, we can throw in a few tracks here and there. We can do NFL teams. Yeah, we can do that too. We're going to throw the Buffalo Bills in F2? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that's but a yeah, shot. We'll go a little off topic for this. We have no problem. I think tier lists are really fun. So that's that. Heck yeah. I'll well, see you guys on Friday. See ya.